Hello, this is David Hughes at Shine On Studio in Oakland, California, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Expand. We're going to use one channel of Expand and route three MIDI channels to it to use the alternate channels within the Expand sampler. Let me show you what I mean. First thing we're going to do is make some new channels. So Shift Command N, and we're going to do a stereo instrument track, and then hit Shift Command N again, and we're going to do three. MIDI tracks. Click create, and there we go. Our first one is going to be our synth, so we're going to rename that synth. And then we're going to use the next button, and this will be our drums. And then maybe we'll have some strings, and then finally maybe we'll have some kind of res bass, so I'll just label this bass. So there we have our tracks labeled. Let me bring up the mix window here so that you can see on insert A, I am going to put the Expand 2 plugin. There we go. As you can see, here are the channels and they're all default set to channel one. I'm gonna leave this one beneath the waves as channel one. I'm gonna change this one here to channel two and this is gonna be our drums. So I'm gonna go down to drums and I am just going to choose Let's do some kicks. And here I'm going to change this one to three. And this is our strings. I'm going to probably do some pizzicato strings. So let's grab the big piz strings. And here I'm going to change this one to four. And for right now, I'm just going to do some synth basses and we'll probably do the gritty saw bass. There we go. So now we have one, two, three, four selected here, corresponding with the sounds that we want to use within Expand. Now we need to set up the mix window. So let's hide this and bring these guys back up. So the instrument channel is default set to channel one. From right here, Expand channel one. And that's found in the instrument pane, which can be found down here if you have instrument checked in this little box down here. That'll show you this box up here in your mix window. And I'm not going to use any sends right now, so I'm going to hide those. So that makes it a little bit cleaner for us to look at right now. Here on the MIDI channels, which are the purple ones, I am going to change these to expand channel 2, and this one to expand channel 3, and this one to expand channel 4. Now I have independent control of each channel within the expand plugin. So as you can see, if I move this over, and I select the drums channel, which is channel 2, and play something on my USB keyboard, there we go, we have some kicks. And if I select here, I have strings. And if I go here, I have bass sounds. And if I go back to my main, I have the synth beneath the waves. And within the plugin here, you have faders for each channel so you can control the level within the plugin itself, which is a good idea because they're all being routed out of this one stereo channel here. Now keep in mind with this that you are going to be summing all of these sounds into one output right here, which is set to a one and two on my HD interface. So be sure to mix your tracks accordingly. So as you get the sounds in through this plugin, make sure they come out this stereo channel without clipping or overloading the signal. You can also, within each of the channels in the plugin here, control the level and also the attack and sound effects. So if you go to A, here you can see the different effects and settings. And then you can also control the master global setting here for the output over all of the expand channel plugin. I hope this helps you out. And if you have more questions, please leave them down below. Again, this is David at Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. Thanks for watching.